Skittles addiction? An actual plane crash? Killing a goddamn lion? Sit back, because today we're bringing you some of the craziest stories in NBA history. Let's start with my guy Joel Embiid. He grew up in Cameroon, and well, you know how things are there. He wanted to earn respect on his lot, but he soon realized that basket ain't gonna get him anything done. So he found out another way of earning respect. Guess what he did? He did an actual murder. That too at the age of six. What? He actually said he killed a lion at the age of six going alone in a jungle and came back with the lion on his back. Do you believe this? I don't in fact. Yeah, no facts. This story looks straight up bizarre. Oh. <laughs> When I was about six years old, uh, you know, I had to go in the jungle to uh, kill the lions. So that was a way for me to prove that I uh, was a man, man. So that was also a way uh, for me to become a man. So I went into the jungle. Uh, I had a spear and I threw it and uh, threw it at a lion and he fell asleep. And then I just came and killed him. Embiid, my friend, whatever way you did it, I'm just glad you made it to the NBA. No killings now, okay? At least Embiid was killing people and not getting killed himself like James. Yeah, do you know once King James almost lost his life in a plane crash? You know how the guy is. He's always been very famous. In fact, when he was first drafted, he was so conscious about his team's private aircraft, he went straight to the owner, asking if it was safe. King doing king shit and his doubts became a reality when the team was traveling from Houston to make it to an all-star game. Flight attendant getting her ankle broken? Plane shaking? Smoke coming out of the kitchen? People throwing up? Well, I'm never traveling in a plane again, if something like this happens to me, to be honest. Thankfully for LeBron and the team, they were safe, and the Cavaliers landed safely. This even prompted the Cavaliers' owner to buy a new jet. All's well that ends well, right? And when God gives you a second life, why not enjoy it to the fullest, like my guy Harden? He was a star in the making. And when the Rockets gave him the biggest contract in NBA history, he had to spend the money somewhere. Isn't it obvious? You ain't keeping that stimmy in the closet, are you? And he wasn't like the other guys spending money on cars or mansions. He had all of it. So the beard found a unique way to spend all of it. What he did? Check out yourself. His jersey was hanging in the rafters in a Houston strip club. Wow. Harden, the guy that you are, spending on a strip club? The dude's crazy. Safe to say the girls had a fun night and they got paid well for it. And so did Harden, it seems. Pity we can't say the same for the next guy, because he got mugged at his $15 million crib, man. Get the security up, Damar! Things unfolded the following way. Damar was in his basement and his kids were upstairs. Normal stuff going on. Damar getting tattooed when all of a sudden, the lights went off. Jeez. DeMar quickly went upstairs to see his daughters, and what did he see? A guy running the opposite way. Thankfully for DeMar, he saw the guy and chased him out of the house. Otherwise, who knows? Hell would have broken loose. The guy was caught an hour later. Dude running down the other stairs. So I'm going after him. He go back out through the door, running, taking off. So at this point, once he get outside, I'm... I'm like, damn, I can catch him, but I ain't gonna catch him because I don't know if it's somebody else in the house. Mm -hmm. Fellas, if I ever buy a million dollar apartment, I'll make sure I get proper security. And you people can help me out. How? By liking the video. Get me famous so I can buy some cribs as well. Let's change the mood a little, shall we? Because the next story will bring you down. I mean, it's about the Greek freak. Well, he always wasn't this rich and he and his family went through a lot. In fact, do you know he used to peddle goods on the corner of the streets to earn a living? He told us himself. Nah, from selling such stuff to becoming a millionaire, Giannis had certainly been one lucky guy. He's dealing in grands these days, and why shouldn't he? He's one of the greatest European basketball players ever. Back in the day, we had to work until we sold something, until we uh, was able to, uh, you know, have money to buy uh, a plate of food, you know, to provide that night with provide ourselves with food that night. Giannis was lucky, but not every guy is lucky enough. Look at Dwight Howard. He's been surviving an addiction. Yes, fellas, when he made his NBA debut, the guy took the NBA by storm. He was so good. In fact, he was so good he got his big money moved to LA. But things fell off for him then. He lost confidence. Man forgot how to play. 
Well, we all found the reason in 2012. The dude was addicted to not coke, not heroin, not cocaine, but Skittles. He even had a Skittles machine in his home and was eating 6,000 calories and 12 candy bars in a day. Well, I just developed that like sweet tooth. As I got older, it just kept going. I just started to love Skittles and all I wanted was Skittles, Skittles, Skittles. You know, I couldn't stop. Then I fell in love with Honey Bun and I would eat like at least four or five of them a day, maybe more, just heat them up. You've heard his interview. The guy was unstoppable. In fact, things got so serious his life was on the line. His nutritionist told him if it didn't stop then and there, not only his playing days would be over, but so would his life be. Talk about taking some lives, do you know once Steph got in such a deadly car crash he almost lost his life? Yeah, what was going to be a normal day for him instead turned into a nightmare. A rainy day in San Francisco, what's the worst that could happen? A deadly accident if you aren't careful. Curry was careful, but he still got into this mess, and while driving on the freeway, he was badly hit by a car. But things did not end here. Just when he was waiting for the police to arrive, he got into another accident. Just 10 minutes later! What a day for my guy! Luckily for Steph, he was okay, but same can't be said for his Porsche. At least the cops got a pick with Curry. Curry's a famous man, and him being in this video more than once shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. In fact, this time, dude didn't hurt himself, but instead sent a guy to the hospital. In the 2015 NBA Finals between the Cavs and the Warriors, Curry sent the defender to the hospital. With the injury of Kevin Irving, a man was needed to step up to guard arguably the greatest point guard in the history of the game. And Matthew Della Vadova took the opportunity upon himself to mark Curry, and although he was pretty successful, he paid the price for it. 38 minutes into the game, the guy had some unusual cramps and the Cavs medical team did the unthinkable and prevented full body cramps on Matthew. The moment his condition stabilized, he was immediately sent to the hospital where he stayed overnight. Marking Curry's not easy, and everyone has to pay the price for it. <laughs> Things are getting a bit heated up. I know, I know, but man, the next guy? His fear's so weird, Mark and Steph looks easy to you. I'm talking about my guy Anthony Davis. He grew up in a war zone, but guess what? He isn't scared of bullets, but night! What? Yeah, that's weird. Dude, how can you be scared of the dark and not actual bullets? The human brain works weirdly at times. The guy himself told us he can't sleep with the lights off. Number seven, what's the thing about yourself you'd most like to improve? Me being scared of the dark. Really? Yeah. How scared do you like nightlights like, everywhere? Like TV on, bathroom light on, some light has to be on. <laughs> I, I know that's weird, but when you got good friends, they help you get out of every testing situation, and AD's friends were no different. In fact, they tried their best to help him overcome his fear, but yeah, not everything can be overcome. Sometimes those motivational quotes just look good on your Instagram. Well, being scared of the night might be funny to you guys, but not when you're scared of an actual hotel. And a hotel that's cursed. The Oklahoma City Thunder curse is real, my guys. A lot of players have experienced it. Check it out yourself. Karan Butler even went on the record saying everyone knows about Effie. Like, she's just there. <laughs> That's awesome. She'll haunt all the teams that come for the playoff. Hopefully, she'll haunt all the teams. So Now, I won't go into the details of what happened and who caused it, but we do know the ghost of a lady lives on the 10th floor. Her name's Billy, and sources tell me the hotel's owner locked her on the 10th floor. Seeing no hope, she threw herself out of the window, but she never really left that place. Every player staying at the hotel's met her, in fact. Irving's playing a whole ass documentary on it. Why does the NBA always book the same hotel? Guess we never know. Yeah, well, we've met another curse, man. We're short on time. But hey, don't fret, because we'll be back soon with more content. Where are you running, lads? Check these videos out. We'll see you on the other side. Till then, it's goodbye.